Here are five surprising things about the Zoe test that I didn't know when I bought it from the website. So thing number one is that you do four things before you really get going. So the first thing is you tell Zoe about your current diet. The next thing is you wear a continuous glucose monitor that goes in your arm. Three, two, one. Ah. You do a blood fat test. So in order to do that, you eat these pre-canned muffins that they send you. They're scientifically developed muffins. And then after a period of time, you, you measure your, your blood fat response after those muffins. And then you also do a stool test, which is looking at your microbiome. And all of these tests unlock scores of individual foods. Thing number two is that you get these lessons in the app. So I'm quite far in at the moment, and today's lesson is about understanding sleep and your diet. And you essentially go through, and what they've done a really good job of is a mixture of education, but then also kind of quizzes to help the knowledge sink in. So there's these cues to make sure that you interact with the, the, the stuff. In general, the, the lessons reflect the different types of tests that you do. So there's some lessons about blood sugar, there's some lessons about blood fat, there's a lot of lessons about gut microbiome, and then as you can see, it, it explores deeper into areas like sleep. So they've really worked hard to make a very holistic health and wellness plan out of your test. Number three, when the results come back, you get a personalized list of all the different food categories there are, and then how these score for you. So each food is scored against blood sugar response, blood fat response, and how it builds your gut microbiome. And then they're categorized by protein. Well, let's have a look. Gut boosters, gut suppressors, proteins, snacks, eggs, dairy, vegetables, fruits, dried fruits, meat and poultry, beans and legume, uh, breads and flours, fish and seafood, pasta and grains. Okay, let's have a look at spreads and nut butters. Almond butter and hummus are quite good at, at 92 and 86. Cashew butter, 64. So I'm gonna tap on that. We can see here that this is great for blood sugar, not so great for blood fat, and uh, very good for gut health. So every single food has this categorization of how does it match against those three tests that you did at the beginning. And this is really good when you're planning a dish um, as you can see in some of the other videos as well. Number four. So when you log your foods, you get a score for each food and that rolls up into the score for the meal. And then you put in your, your meals and then you get a score for the day. And what Zoe wants to do is help you score highly for the entire day over 75 points. And that is the average of all the things you eat taken in consideration of when you eat them in the day, how close to bedtime, the quantity of food you ate. So you might have something that's like super healthy and scoring 100 points, but if it was only a tiny lettuce, that's not gonna be powerful enough to counteract the, uh, the three burgers that you had at lunchtime. Looking at yesterday, my breakfast was 43 points, my lunch, which was yogurt, was 95 points, and then my dinner, um, which was <laughs> kind of kind of like another breakfast actually. I had eggs on toast with avocado, kimchi, and some mushrooms as well. Um, that was 76 points. But then I had one like one glass of of rosé, and that was enough to take my entire score down to 69. Whereas before that rosé, it was actually quite a lot higher. So number five, when you add your meals you get tips for the next day. So jumping back in, you can see here that I logged all my meals and I've got this message which is, keep an eye on your fats. Low quality fats or too much fat has reduced your Zoe score. To help your body clear blood fats and avoid inflammation, avoid fat rich foods in the next meal of your day. So that is a really handy tip that will help me structure my diet for the next day. And all of these things really just help you reflect in more detail on your food and why you're making the food choices you're making and the effect they have on these different metrics of blood sugar, blood fat, and your gut microbiome as well. That's it from this video. Uh, check out the other videos on the channel and I'll see you soon.